Hello, everybody. It's me again. Today, we're going to be talking about thoughts, availability. They're available to everyone. You get to choose which one you focus on, and then that becomes your reality. In this society, we're fed all of these thoughts and assumptions of how the world should be and how it is taught to us how it is. And from there, we uh, run on with this idea of that's the norm and that's the way it's always going to be. But thoughts are really what shape our reality. And these thoughts have immense power because through that is that's how we live our lives and how our power is either increased or decreased on how we manifest this in this reality, what things we give life to and what things we feel as impossible. Uh, we can say like that ship that's behind me. It came to manifestation because of us. We had the idea, we had the uh, capability mentally on how to make metal ride over water. So we did it and it came to be just like buildings and everything else that we've thought of and gave creativity to and then it comes to be in this physical plane. So now the time is coming where we're going to be giving even more energy for this thought and manifestation process to be enhanced. Therefore, we're going to be making uh, greater choices in a small amount of time. So we got to get in line to really see what's important, what we really want for this Mother Earth to be what we want it to do for us, but we got to do for it because it's suffering. It's suffering all because of our thoughts that we have been paying most attention to, which is materialism and greed and wanting power, ownership over earth, over property, over how much land we feel we need to have under our names, over how much we take from it to make profit from it. So now we have to uh, really make decisions on how we can live in accordance to its sorry just thinking about this and uh, just kind of sad how, how we treat what feeds us every day, what gave birth to us, what gave us all the mo mothers that we've had and that continues to feed us even though we're treating it this bad. So we really got to get on track with this new energy that's coming to us. Uh, we got to be more responsible for what we do here because we can easily make paradise. Not that city life is paradise, but all nature you know, we're, we're not letting nature thrive. We're cutting down 
trees and the forests are suffering, the animals in it, extinction rates. So we really got to get on track and uh, see what is important to us. You know, we got to own our power to say what is good for Earth and ourselves. We know that trees give, give us oxygen, which is what we need to uh, sustain life in these bodies. And of course, plants give us, and trees give us food for us to also sustain ourselves in this physical form. And we can even have a choice on how long we should be in this form. Why not? Our bodies, our cells regenerate and we basically have a new body. This science says every like 10 years, so never, we never go get older than 10 years because all our cells die and then the others come to live and they regenerate so our bodies should always be young and healthy. And then with this new energy that's coming along, we're going to be having capabilities to healing ourselves and healing others even at more incredible rates and that's without the use of medications. That's just going to be uh, this new energy and this new awareness that we're getting that we just tell our bodies which parts are harm or need help with and uh, they'll come to be healed. I mean I've, I've already been doing that. I, I had my motorcycle accident and I've, I've been doing all the, my normal activities you know, with all those broken bones already healed, and they actually healed really fast. Not what doctors expected. So yeah, thoughts. Look at your thoughts, look what you're thinking every day, and really see if it's really important or not, because we can easily be wiped out if we don't manage this energy with positive, loving thoughts for our Mother Earth, for ourselves, for our brothers for every living thing that's having this experience with us. So thank you again for listening and you know I'll see you when I do. Take care.